Let me briefly show you a high-level overview about our journey in the last couple of months. Uh, we called our uh, development program for a COVID-19 vaccine project Lightspeed because you can't go faster than light. And uh, this was what we aimed for. This journey started in January this year and was devoted to the development of a uh, well-tolerated and effective COVID-19 vaccine following the highest scientific and ethical standards. This was a journey of 11, 10 to 11 months, which started with engineering multiple potential candidates, vaccine candidates, uh, of which several entered clinical testing phase one in April this year. In July, uh, we selected together with our partner Pfizer, uh, one of those candidates, the most um, promising one for a large phase three trial. And in November this year, we could report that in this trial, our vaccine has met all primary efficacy endpoints. On the next slide, you can see that Project Lightspeed is in fact a global concerted larger scale effort. Our phase three trial has been conducted uh, in uh, multiple countries in the US, Argentina, Brazil, Germany, South Africa, and in Turkey. Um, uh, the phase three tr uh, trial has reached uh, the final endpoints in mid-November. Uh, in addition to that, we have regu regulatory submissions uh, on a rolling basis ongoing, not only in the EU, but also additional countries such as Canada and Australia. Uh, we have, in addition, uh, an application at the US FDA for emergency use um, uh, authorization of our vaccine uh, in, in the US, and we are awaiting decisions by the FDA mid of uh, December. And this is also the time horizon uh, in which we expect decisions of the EMA on our conditional marketing uh, authorization application. 